everyone. I'm going to present social media today. And I will first define what social media is. And second, I will provide three tips of social media and also following this to um, illustrate with two examples with a conclusion of how social media has changed people's life. Before I start my presentation, I would like to ask you a question. How would you define social media? Any ideas? Hmm. Something social on the internet? Like Facebook or uh, Twitter? Based on my research, and according to the um, Business Horizon Journal, uh, social media is a platform where information is continuously modified by all users, and content and creation are no longer created by individuals, which means people are more involved in the discussion and their posting through their um, platform. And there are three types of social media, collaborative product, content communication, and social network insights. I would use Wikipedia as an example to explain what is collaborative product. I've done a case study within one of the management classes before that we are required to create a term. And through this semester, use the knowledge learned in that class to define that term strategically through Wikipedia. And during the time I do the study, I found how powerful it is. The people, the professionals outside school are helping me to edit in my language and give examples to better explain it. So the public are going to be, um, understand what I'm trying to say um, effectively and more efficient. The second one is content communication. Has anyone posted your works or video through YouTube? A lot of my friends share their videos of playing instruments and the funny things through YouTube. And the whole thing um, is to share the ideas and the information um, through the video and more uh, vivid into presentations through that platform. But there's a problem with the copyright uh, issue for this kind of social media. I'm going to talk more about it for another presentation. The second one is called social networking sites. Facebook. Does anyone do not have Facebook? Cool. <laughs> you are so unique by not having one. So I believe people are um, using Facebook to share their day-to-day -day life and post their um, statements, how life going. To some extent, we feel more connected to people whose life already has been drift apart for many years. And also we can feel a kind of warm or caring feelings when other people want to get to know more about us. One of my friends drawn the field trip this summer to China, and she realized that the, um, both Facebook and YouTube was blocked by the government. She, so she was asking me what kind of social media do young Chinese people use there for fun, since the, um, these two things, the most popular one, are blocked. We do have one, and it's called Macroblog. Has anyone heard about blog? Macroblog? So microblog is another platform of social media. It's like a Chinese version of Twitter and Facebook. Most people who use microblog are under 30s. Most of them are young. And why do people use microblog? 74% of them use them for emotional self-expression. And more than half of them use that for record of life and groups, share information and ideas. And people feel relaxed by doing so. And also some other people think it's a good way and great way to learn the skills of friends. How does microblog <coughs> look like? This is a um, general glance of my microblog. You can post your statement here, any idea, opinions, with pictures, um, interviews, <coughs> music to better explain. You could also create a vote, election, or a hot topic for things that you care. And how does microblog change social media, or other words, to change people's life? I would say it's a great platform that helps people to realize their dreams and also um, discuss social um, issues. Has anyone watched the talent show? No matter it's Chinese Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent or Americans Get. Um, I watched the final campaign this summer for the Chinese Got Talent show. And there are 80,000 live audience in the stadium enjoy that show. And guess who are the performing guests? Susan Boyle. She sang beautifully, and she even can manage few words in 
Chinese, so Ni Chong. So it's not like hello or thank you, the generic ordinary stuff that we use in day life. It means green onion for free. <laughs> Why is she saying that? It's because this lady named herself Anne Sweet Cauliflower. She's a vegetable vendor in Shanghai and recognize a line from the Chinese herald Susan Boyle. She loves seeing Western opera, but she didn't understand any Italian, French, English. So she's trying to work through and being finally being able to fill the lyrics with vegetables in Chinese. The last sentence she was saying in the final show was, in North of Don Northern Doma was green onions for free. <laughs> so Susan Boyle and her were singing together, 8,000 live audience singing together, that was hilarious. <laughs> I believe both Susan Boyle and Aunt Sweet Cauliflower are, belongs to the otherness. They are the, the, they are the least expected to be successful <coughs> in the business than entertainment. Yet their courage and talent bring them through and a platform, a show, give them a chance to reach their life. And being different is a good thing, and we are all different. And the young people in China are different, definitely, compared to the young people who are in Canada. This is a photo showing a girl in her 20s named Guo Mei And she showed her luxury stuff through Weibo, one is the, um, it's called Weibo, one popular sets in China with 140 million users of that social media. She showed her luxuries and claimed to be the general manager of Red Cross at the Chamber of Commerce. And she so telling the public that pro probably she feels some extent proud of herself being connected to the charities, but she didn't realize she has stepped on a national sensitive nerve and aroused national questioning. Later, she apologized through the mass media saying that she's not the um, general manager of Red Cross, and most of the luxury things are coming from her boyfriend, who used to be a general manager of Red Cross. So it's getting very complicated. The public trying to dig the truth of the story, and the government are right now pushing by the public to give an exact, exact ex explanation for how things are going, and we want the um, charity to be more open for their um, budget. So in conclusion, social media has provided a more wide platform for common people to realize their dreams and also um, to express their thoughts and concerns. Second thing, social media creates a warm social environment of caring, chasing social justice. Government is now more open to the public. And I would like to write <coughs> The Chinese word for Weibo, the one that really popular in China, and this is the Chinese word. So Weibo is actually the real um, sound of the Chinese word in Chinese. We mean something small, something you hardly see in your life such as the common people, they are not powerful in their life to speak up, fight for themselves. And they are fight with the higher class of the society trying to um, choose a sort, a sort of justice for their life. Wu means um, like a walking encyclopedia, knows everything, and also enrich your powerness to uh, in a way that you fight for yourself. And Wei Bo <coughs> actually is a, another meaning of Wei Bo. It's kind of sounds really similar into another um, in English, another language, different from Chinese. So Wei Bo, we use Wei Bo to express our small thoughts in life and try to make a big difference by um, discuss that together and share through the social media. So thank you for my listening for my presentation. Feel free to ask questions. And there you say government is now more open to the public. Which government? Uh, the Chinese government and also the manager of charities, because we would like to know for the donation that we put in effort, where did that go and how many people were benefiting from that? Do you have any questions? Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm a 
you know why exactly you can't use Facebook in China? Um, I think that's my belief, which is not true. But I think the government are trying to um, control the information that you share through the communities, and they don't want <coughs> to have like, a platform being socialized to outside of China. Because probably people all have bias; they report from um, foreign um, broadcasting maybe not true story about <coughs> their comments about uh, what's happening in China. But we also have bias for the um, Chinese broadcasting mass media. We, I don't know. It's a great way for the government to um, shrink the information and make sure people don't start gossiping too much to maintain a sort of stability in the society. But I hope Facebook not block because I didn't post anything for half a year since I was away from Canada. My <laughs> friends are, where are you? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Can you think of any exceptions to that? Um, social media has created a warm social environment of caring uh, and chasing social justice. Do you have another example? No, no. Um, can you not think of examples where that's not true? Um, people sometimes, like, posting information with a hint or um, speculation of some other people to destroy their reputation, I would say like people are self-centered sometimes or selfish with certain opinions and they are not open enough. But it's the people <coughs> give you a chance, opportunity to express what you saw. And being able to exchange ideas from other people give you another opportunity to rethink about how are you positioning yourself in such event, which would actually help us to become more critical thinking. We don't be biased by any other information we have. Also, yeah, so really, like you could use it for, for example, bullying, right? You could use social media, and we've seen cases of that. So really, it's not so much um, social media that has the effect, but it's the intent of the people who use it. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? I think, to some extent, um, the Chinese government, maybe, to answer better answer her question, may be afraid of the different intention of people who use Facebook as a way to defend or create troubles for Chinese people. But I don't think that's a smart way to block it. Because to one day we all we will know what happened. And to one day more people going out of the country will know the truth. Yeah, I was speaking in general. I wasn't just speaking yeah. about China. <laughs> okay. yeah. I was trying to. I still think about her question because I really don't know. I think you're right. It's totally about control. Mm -hmm. right? If you go on Facebook, you could publish uh, an article from the Wall Street Journal or New York Times that the Chinese government doesn't want people in China to read, right? Mm -hmm. which they can control through other means, like through their filters. But if you link it to Facebook, maybe you can get around the filters. Mm -hmm. I would assume that's the which is what you said, basically. Any other questions? Thanks, Jensen.